Hello, my name is Joseph Walcott from the department um, Fosterish Energy from the Fosterish group of companies. What I'm going to do today is to demonstrate a retrofitter fluorescent lamp with a LED tube. Uh, firstly, before we start with this particular lamp, it's very important for us to, to practice good safety procedures. So I just have the circuit isolated or turned off firstly. All right, now that the circuit, the circuit is turned off, we can proceed with removing the shell from the truffle. Okay, here we have a fluorescent truffle with electronic ballast. Two of them. These are the balances. Firstly, we're going to remove the tubes. They are very fragile, so we want to ensure that we handle them with care. And very dangerous as well if it is that they are broken. The number of tubes per truffle vary depending on the type of truffle the design of it also. This particular type has four tubes in it. Alright, so there, the tubes are removed. Next procedure is to disconnect the ballast from out of the circuit. The good thing about LEDs is that they don't use any starter nor any ballast. You can disconnect using this procedure based on the type of ballast that you have or you can simply cut the wires if it is that you want to. So I'll just disconnect both balances first before we go further. Now for the second ballast. There, both ballasts are disconnected. Now the next procedure is to identify the wires that are from the ends over this side and separate them from all the wires on this side. It's important for us to note also that each end must carry two wires. So an all lamp end on both sides you must have two wires on it. So in all what you have is eight wires coming from each end of the truffle. So let me just identify them here. So we have two, and two makes four. This is six, and the final two for this side makes eight. So eight wires here for all the, the lamp ends on this side. These are extra wires. These are the eight wires here. These are extra wires. You can um, take them out of the circuit if it is that you want to, or you can just neatly, neatly package them there. But I'm going to concentrate okay, now that we have identified all the wires coming from the side of the truffle. It's now for us to create a, a junction with them that is connecting all of them together. There. Here we have the, in, um, the incoming lines. We have two here. This one would represent the live, and this one the neutral. So we have brown and black. If it's 220, you would have um, three wires. You would have um, one here, one here, and one in the middle. 210 or 220 or 110, it doesn't matter. 
So what I'm going to do is connect this side to the blue wire here, which is a neutral wire. Let this bar connector here far easier to get in. Then just another wire to leave from that area. Okay, so here we just just creating a connection here to ensure that the that this smaller wire can actually fit into the existing bar connector. And now we can connect to the blue wire. Very easy. So what went, just to recap what we've just done, you have two incoming lines, um, brown and blue. So what we do is connect the, all the wires from this side into the blue, into the blue, um, the blue incoming line. So one wire is left to be connected to, and that is the brown. And this brown, we can trace it now, goes to this side of the bar connector actually not connected so I'm just going to ensure that it is connected to this side of the bar connector. That's fine. And the blue is generally in this side. Just going to ensure that it's in, it is in place. So now same procedure as we did on that side, we're going to connect all wires on this side of the truffle in one. So let's first identify, identify that we have the eight wires, um, two for each, each end. So we have two here for this one, two for this one, two for this one, and we also have two for this one, which makes eight. Now we need to connect all of the final one. one. This is fine, so just let's count them off. Two, four, six, eight. All into one. Everything on this side. So remember we have connected. We have connected the other side to the blue wire, which comes to here. So we cannot connect this side to the blue wire as well. We have to connect it to the brown. Because you would have traced on this side the brown wire, the incoming brown is connected to the brown wire on this side. So we want to ensure that they that this brown wire is now connected to this side of the lamp. So we identify where, which bar connector the brown wire is connected to. You realize that this is the one that the brown wire is connected to. So I'm going to put the junction that I have just created into this bar connector that the brown wire is connected to. And I realize it is a, the bar connector, another bar connector is not required to do this, um, this connection. Uh, let's just do a little bit of cleaning up. This is extra wire, so I'm just going to remove it from the circuit. And that's it, the lamp is wired for LED. Just before we close off, I just want to do a recap of what was done. All the wires on this side of the lamp, all eight wires are connected together. We have the incoming line, a brown and a blue. This side is connected to the blue. Right, so now we have a brown one on this side. We can trace it from here, come into this bar connector. And it goes into this bar connector. And all the wires from this side of the lamp is connected into it. So now let's just um, get the wires together so that they can't be seen once they, 
once the, the diffuser is put in place. Let's just okay. Now we can install the LED tubes. Um, very simple. Realize the size of them is similar to the fluorescent tubes. Okay. Now that all four tubes are lit. Now for the the diffuser to be put back in place. It is simple. And this type of diffuser, what they call it, is a parabolic lower diffuser. Very attractive. And there you have it. A complete 4x2 truffle being retrofit with LED tubes.